as we prepare and have been preparing for this second surge and as we see um, the impact on hospitals, hospitals throughout Massachusetts are experiencing limited bed capacity. They're feeling the strain to care for all of the individuals who are coming to the hospital through emergency departments. It includes patients who have both COVID-19 and others who do not. In just over a month, hospitalizations due to COVID-19 have grown from 900 on 11-26 on November 26 to just over 2,250 on the 28th of December, which is a 129% increase in hospitalizations. During the same period, we've seen 106% growth in ICUs. Throughout January, the time when we anticipate the most severe constraints on staffing and capacity, we continue to work with hospitals to ensure that any individual who arrives at any hospital throughout the state gets the appropriate care that they need. This may include patients being transferred to other hospitals that may have the available bed and staffing capacity to appropriately meet the individual's need, including our field hospitals. So if you go to an emergency department and your health care provider determines you need to be hospitalized, one of three options may occur. One, you will be cared for at the hospital for the duration of your acute inpatient stay. Second, you might be stabilized and triaged at that hospital initially and then transferred to another acute care hospital and including our specialized fully staffed COVID field hospitals in either Lowell or Worcester to continue to receive your inpatient care. Or if not a COVID-related illness, you may be transferred to another hospital in the same region.